I want her to pay for what she, she did to my granddaughter. And every day she sits in that cell, I hope she remembers the moment when she the torture she put my granddaughter through. Darlene Sanchez was living off of raw emotion last week. Her three-year-old granddaughter, Rebecca, died in 2012. And finally, one of her accused killers, Gayla Hernandez, was sentenced to 30 years in prison. Court documents say Hernandez and Rebecca's father, Anthony Chavez, were caring for her when the pair called 911 and said Rebecca had stopped breathing. She later died at UNM Hospital, where doctors made a disturbing discovery. They say Rebecca had been abused for days and died of head trauma. Even though Hernandez is behind bars, Chavez's case is still going through the courts. I hope he feels the same thing and goes through the same thing that she's going to go through for taking my granddaughter's life. But tonight we're learning Chavez is nowhere to be found. He was released through pretrial services in March after his bond was lowered from $500,000 to $80,000. But last month, court records say Chavez violated his conditions of release and failed to appear before a judge. A warrant is now out for his arrest as a result. On top of that, detectives with Albuquerque police now say Chavez is wanted for additional felony crimes not related to his daughter's death. She does forever in my heart, and I want and justice is going to be done for her. The same way it was with Gayla, it's going to be with Anthony. Detectives say they need help finding Chavez, and if you know where he is, call police. Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News. Two people.